But I just want to know, bottom line, you know, Tom Perez, he's talking about share your values, which right. to me is a bumper sticker that don't mean anything. <laughs> the, bo the bottom line is, I, I, I believe the polls are showing that whether it's Bernie Sanders or someone of his ilk, independents, mm -hmm. young people, mm -hmm. a lot of older people too, by the way, Bernie got a lot of older people, uh, are moving towards this p populist progressive mode. So when you're talking about what the DNC and the Democratic Party message has to be, it seems to me it's still focused on, well, there's realities in, in governance and we got to get what we can get. Well, well, what I'm saying is that everyone's talking about this DNC up, up hierarchy. I'm talking Democrats. Okay, okay, Democrats as a, as a whole. What needs to happen is it has to go back to local organizing, local campaign. So if you're if you are running and you're winning on a populist, you know, left or center, um, a message in your community, run on that. The problem is that people look at the DNC or the Democratic Party as this organized institute. It's not like the Republican Party. They are, they are organized around three issues. Guns, gays, abortion. You know, that is their issue. The Democrat Party is not like that at all. You have pro-life Democrats, you have pro-choice Democrats, you have anti-gun Democrats, you have no pro-choice, you have uh, a multitude of issues there. So what we are seeing as a national party and as a Democratic Party, run on the issues that affect your community. That's when we're that's when we're at our best. Governor Dean's 50-state strategy worked because it was boiling it down to the local level. What what works for you? What resonates in your community? Because I, I, I live in DC now. Southeast DC. I am, but I'm from College Park, which is down the street. I can tell you what resonates in College Park. Will will not resonate in Anacostia, but th because that's that's my community. I am saying that what Tom Perez is saying is that show, share your values because your values in your community is what you should be running on. You should not be running on this national platform because national platforms don't win at the end of the day. I disagree, okay. and I'll tell you why. I had the fortune of going around the country. Uh, during the campaign and then other things. So Standing Rock, Flint, East Chicago, Alabama, a lot of things, frankly, the Democratic Party isn't talking about. And I've spoke probably with thousands of people at this point. It's not anecdotal to me. The one common theme, whether people were Republican, Democrat, you know, atheist in terms of politics, right. was the economic squeeze and the economic inequality. But how you talk about that economic squeeze is different for every community. No, no, I agree. So, so as a big issue, yes, economics is an issue, but you can't talk about economics and this larger issue without boiling down to the boilerplate why it matters. So if you're talking about economics in South Side Chicago, they, they need more jobs, they need X, Y, and Z. That might be different in Southern California where, where they're talking about now the crops are dying because they don't have enough employment. So economics as a whole is an issue, but how you talk about has to be different for every community. No, no, I agree with that. My point is the, uh, people across the board uh, were receptive and frankly angry at wealthy people getting tax cuts. Right, everybody should be. Wealthy people getting tax cuts and the oil and the subsidies for the banks and the oil and the bailouts and all that. That was across the board. So what I say to the Democratic Party is, yes, you have to uh, shift your message to wherever you are. You're not going to be going out in Texas and being like, I'm for, you know, I'm for taxing the wealthy and I'm taking right. your guns. You're not going right. to say that. But I don't know why the Democratic Party at this point doesn't see the tea leaves that even even Republicans are attracted to the Bernie Sanders message of we're not the, the days of the bailouts, the days of the gravy train, the days of the corporate welfare. Well, that's not Bernie Sanders. Just that's just not his message. What's funny to me is that people act like Bernie Sanders is this new progressive. He has been in the Senate for 30 years. 30 years. And he's been saying the same thing I just for said. 30 for 30 years. years. What bills has he passed? Uh, what did this he? This is a talking no, point. No, it's not. This is a no, talking no, point. It's not, what he, I'm saying, he has no, gotten more you, amendments no, than nine out of ten that, of the people you're, you'll you're say. You're acting like Bernie Sanders just invented economic equality. I am saying he didn't and what I'm saying is if you go back to 20, uh, 2005 because I helped with the 50 state strategy that conversation was a part of the 50 state strategy without Bernie Sanders and it, it wasn't about this ultra left or ultra center. It was a conversation we were having locally and it worked. I'm saying we need to go back to organizing locally yeah, we agree. and when we get that so it's not so I am what I'm saying is we don't need a democratic savior. So whether it, whether it's Bernie Sanders, Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, we don't need a democratic savior. We need many people in the community talking about their values and why their values matter. That's what I'm saying. We agree on that. Okay. What All I, right. Well, I gotta go get something to eat. Go 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 go. Thank <laughs> All you. All right. Thank, thank you very much. We will continue this. Yeah. I will, look, I am here every day. Answer question. Did not let him rebut. Oh, he can rebut. No, no, no. Okay. Well, it, so, well, you know what? We're gonna go do this at the same time.